Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a new testing video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezzer Type F01 here. And this is also going to be our first Halfway's Flash suit added to GBO2, and we have quite a lot to cover with the suit, so I'm going to jump right into it here. So the Mezzer Type F01 is a 650 cost general. It can be used on both ground and space. You have 23,000 mobile suit HP, 20 ballistic, 29 beam, and 21 melee resistance. You got 34 range strength and 31 melee strength. You have 130 movement speed, 215 top speed. You have 80 thruster gauge, and you have 72 turning speed. So, uh, pretty balanced stats there overall. For your part slots, you have 20 close, 19 mid, and 9 long range slots. And for some of our other stats here, you have a melee priority of 2. This does have ground compatibility, so you do get extra benefits for using this suit on ground maps. And it is a 3 star, so pretty good start for this suit already. Uh, looking at the weapons, we got a pretty good loadout here. We have the Mezzer Large Beam Rifle, or the Long Beam Rifle, or as they call it here, the Mezzer LBR. This is an ammo type beam rifle, does 2550 damage. And you have 8 rounds with it as well, which is really good ammo capacity for a 650 cost suit here. And 450 range is pretty much your standard instant stun rifle. You have the Mezzer Beam Saber with 2750 power. And you have a 2 second um, long cooldown, so that's 0.5 seconds less than the typical Beam Saber. You have the F01 Vulcan Gun here. This is your pair of head mounted Vulcans. Does 95 damage and you have 30 rounds of it. These are really good for getting accumulation staggers as you'll see. Then we get to testing. You have the mine layer units. Those are located on the back skirts of the units. And as I suggest, these are like the mines that some of the other suits we've seen have. You have 1,500 power and you have 20 of these. But the way it works is that it kind of fires a bit more in like burst. You drop a few mines, and you have to cool down before you can do more of them. And yeah, pretty nice weapons you have with the suit. You have the smoke grenade. That's like the smoke discharge that gives you stealth and increased defense. You have the 36mm phalanx times 2. These are like Vulcan guns that are in the shield. 170 power and 80 ammo. And then you have the Mezzer Type F01 shield. This is considered a large shield, and it has 7,000 HP, so a pretty good defense option there. And looking at these skills, we have Leg Shock Absorber level 3, Quick Boost level 4, Emergency Evasion System, Flight Control Program level 4, uh, this is a new skill here, the V-Tail sta um, Stabilizer. This allows you to descend slower in the air while the V-Tail Stabilizer is extended, which makes it easier to perform mid-air actions. This also raises mobility and damage dealt while it's deployed, and lowers the thruster gain when starting high-speed movement. It also reduces the reaction if you're hit by a range attack, and reduces stagger due to cumulative damage. The primary range weapon, that being your long beam rifle, can be used while moving at high speed, and the skill cannot be used during rapid descent, so a lot to really take in with that skill there, but I'll make sure to show it during the testing. It is a very nice um, skill for this suit though, really do like that one. You have Anti-Blast Stabilizer, High Performance Balancer, Aerial Melee System, so you can use your melee while in the air. You have High Spec and Back Level 2. You have Maneuver Armor, Melee Combo Controller, so you got two melee swings. Force Injector Level 2. Shield Tackle, Special Right Shoulder Armor Buffer, Waist Special Cushioning Level 3, and Special Leg Buffer Level 3. And just real quick, gonna have the Mobile Suit Explanation here, in case anyone wants to um, pause and read through this. As I mentioned, our first Halfway's um, Flash suit here, and yeah, we're gonna take it to Port Base and see what we are working with here. I do already have a match with this suit um, posted, so it's probably going to be at the end of this video, I'll have that linked. But yeah, already it's been a really fun suit to play, a really unique one, mainly from that um, V stabilizer skill. And here we have the Mezzer. As you can see, it is a pretty good sized suit. So yeah, definitely, like if you just stand right next to the Q-Blade here, 
yeah, very big, high difference, the suit is uh, pretty big. So, starting with the long beam rifle here, and 2, 000, a little over 2,000 damage, pretty good there. And that does give you an instant stun. You have the melee here, your neutral is a very long reaching poke. Side swings are pretty standard, and then the downswing is going to be a boost slash, so really nice there, gives you a lot of range to work with, and also does some really nice damage as you can see. Over 3000 on a downswing, very nice. I'm looking at the Vulcans here, and you can see, pretty good um, stagger accumulation. Does take a good amount to get the stun, but is very useful because you can boost while using these as you can with most Vulcans. Uh, we have the mines, and that's how you can see they kind of fire and burst where they um, come down, and they slowly descend to the ground until they explode, or I assume so somebody might run into them as well might also trigger them, but yep, usually it's when they fall to the ground, and they do have a pretty decent blast radius, and looks like they're also pretty good for getting a stun, and you can also fire these while boosting as well, so they do have some good utility. Uh, here is the smoke discharge. As you can see, I now have stealth and increased defense. And then we have the phalanx shield here. This does do some really good damage, but does take a lot to get a stun with it. But really, yeah, you do want to use that for damage. And it also has some pretty decent range as well, so a really nice weapon there. Now we'll test some of these weapons on the um, Hambabi here. And a little over 3,000. Do a basic melee combo. And again, really good damage. Almost 5,000 on a downswing to a raid, which is really nice for this suit. And with the Vulcans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this one takes 15 for the Hambabi. We have the Mines. Uh, this might actually destroy them, Bobby, now that I think about it. Oh, nope, not all the way. Put the smoke, and then you can see here, yeah, pretty good damage for this here. Now, the skill I really want to show off here is going to be that V-Tail Stabilizer. And you'll see it here when I start descending. It's going to pop out, and it's going to allow me to stay in the air a lot longer. We'll do it here, so I'm much higher. And yeah, you'll start descending very slowly and you'll have boost attack. But that's not the only thing you can do with this as well. Another really good thing about this skill is that it basically gives you a form of flight. We're going to get up, up as high as we can, start boosting. And yep, as you can see here, we are basically flying now. There is a slow descent for this. And also, if you are too close to a building, it will shut down. See if I do here, I'm way too close to the um, building top here, and it is going to cancel it out. So you do need to be at least some distance in the air for it to uh, be able to register. But other than that, yeah, basically, it's basically just a form of flight. And as you can see as well, going to boost up again. You do have the ability to hold and fire the beam rifle in this state. We're going to fly over to the Himbabi here again. I missed that. But you can also do this with the mines as well, and I should allow them to um, fall to the ground. I have seen that used as a strategy where uh, usually um, players will stand up in, or they'll try flying above, and they'll try dropping the mines, like almost like a bomber plane of sorts, which is something I actually wish they would apply to the Gizome now, since I know that when it has its, when it's in its mobile armor mode, the mines are facing down, or it's missiles, so that would be something cool to add if they ever wanted to. But, yep, let's even drop that here. And yeah, they just drop straight down, actually. I didn't realize they dropped so quickly when using this suit. So yeah, you can just fly over enemies and you can just start dropping mines on them, which is a really interesting strategy to see here. And... Uh, actually, we'll try to do the shield tackle. That doesn't look like that did as much damage as I thought it would. Uh, do you have to have the shield weapon active with this? Because I feel like 
Yeah, 867. Maybe it's just because it's against a um, Hama Hama there. I will show off the counter, though, while we're here. Force counter. And as you can see here, this does use a um, kick counter, and then you can just easily follow up with that. So, yeah, pretty standard stuff there. And we'll try against the uh, Kubla here. Yeah, a little bit more damage there, but you do have shield tackle, so if that is something you want to work with, um, you can do that as well. Oh, right, I need to show off the aerial melee. We're going to swoop around here, do that. And yeah, as you can see with this long range <laughs> beam saber, yeah, you can do quite a bit with this suit in the air. So that's probably going to be one of the things I've been liking about the uh, Mezzer so far, is just that it's a very versatile unit. Though again, I did bring up the fact that it is a bulky suit. So you do want to watch out for um, that aspect of it. You will be a pretty easy target for a good amount of suits to hit, especially at 650 with suits like the... Um, the new Zeta, I think it's the A3. I don't think I'm actually getting that wrong. The the one that the new one that <laughs> um, I'm just gonna call it the White Zeta because that's probably the only way I can really remember its name. Yeah, that one with its Hyper Mega Launcher. That is something that's been kind of an issue, especially when you're trying to make use of the V tail while boosting. But the V tail is also nice because you can just boost off of a building, and it's already ready for you. You don't have to, like, boost in the air just to use it. So, again, really just adds to the versatility that this unit has. And, yeah, it's really been a suit that I've been liking. I've been getting a few matches with it, so I do plan on having a follow-up video to both of this and the first video I have with it. But, um, yeah, I think so far it's been a pretty good suit. It's also got its own soundboard, too. Like, this thing just has its own unique noises. But yeah, I think that's going to be everything I have here to say about the Mezzer. Just showing off some of the um, skills we have to work with here. And yeah, again, overall, I think it's a pretty nice suit. I do think it's worth owning because of that V-Tail skill. The V-Stabilizer does let you do a lot of things that um, other suits can't do unless it's like a transforming flying suit. But this kind of gets rid of that aspect. You really don't need to transform to use it. You just need to be in a high enough place. Or you just need to jump, which is very easy because the suit has a really quick jump time. So, yeah, again, really fun suit. And also one I think at the moment I would recommend uh, at least trying to get. At least doing one pool. I think it's a really nice suit. But, yep, yeah, that's going to be the end of this testing video here. Uh, comment down below what you think about the Mezzer Type F01. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.